morning guys, um, Danish Kritik here, talking to you from my head. I'm going to get some details from family members here as to exactly where I am. How is behind me? The body of a mother, a uh, 38 year old mother of a 5 year old's found um, just this morning. Another Guyanese woman has lost her life senselessly. Um, I'm going to talk to family members just now. I'm going to give you an insight as to what exactly transpired and how um, this played out. Unfortunately, at this time, the police have started an investigation. But at this time, they have no one in custody. Um, this mother was found with a knife protruding out of her neck. Her face was wrapped in a red blood to some extent. And she was locked in this property here. Uh, a child, a young child, was found locked in the upstairs of the home. She was found dead and locked in the downstairs. So obviously, this gruesome act was perpetrated by someone who had an understanding of going over the locks and so on. And then committed this act, put the child upstairs, locked the child in the house, then put, left the body downstairs and locked the body also in the home. I'm now going to go in and give you a bit of an understanding of exactly um, what it seems like inside. Again, this is a 38 year old female um, and this one, she lives alone this home with a young child and neighbors and persons from around here when they came this morning she wasn't answering the place was closed they spoke to the police the police said break the lock and when they break the lock they made this gruesome discovery of this woman's lifeless body with a knife protruding out of her neck very very unfortunate another mother loses her life another child is offered often no doesn't have a mother If somebody see someone in the family, remember God, with blood from the skin and all and things. Here, like for the baby, for my children, baby, don't come yes, out. How old was the kid? The kid, um, her son is five years old. Five years of age. Um, when you came in, did you see where the body was? Yes, she was right. She was lying there. Lying on the ground here? No, that way. Um, where the full blood is. We cover the blood. Okay, so this is covering <laughs> blood right uh -huh, now? Yes, yes. Okay, so the blood seems to have been absorbed into mm -hmm, the ground. Mm -hmm. And she, her body was here. By the way, the police have already came and started an investigation and this is the sister and as you can see, this place has been tumbled up. It seems that um, whoever was here, whoever committed this gruesome act was looking for something. You could see um, the mattresses is tumbled up, the clothes is all over the place. Um, I asked one person who came in and witnessed the body if they... Um, if she had on all her clothes, they said yes, she had on her underwear, but her clothes was pulled up. Um, this door, again, they had to break to come in. So this door was locked. Um, this door was locked. I don't know. Let me find out. 
Which one in the door had on a padlock? This front door here had on a padlock? From the outside. And even that door had a lock on from the outside? No, it, that door is locked from inside. Outside, uh, yeah. They lock it back with it, Father. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, and who's the first person who came and was trying to get onto her? Um, none of them are there at here. Oh, they're gone. So it's a small, um, two not, not so small, after a small two story house. And the body was found downstairs. And also the child was locked in the house upstairs. And these locks had to be broken. The locks had to be broken to get entry. I haven't seen any locks. Um, no, to get an understanding. Was this a caring mother? Um, you know, look. Ariane, Ariane is the kid's name? So you see, the mother even ensured that, look. Ariane, the kid's name was on the kid's lunch. Um, look, his lunch, the snacks are still here. So this mother might have come down early in the morning. This is countryside, this is my hiker, right? This mother might have came down to prepare um, breakfast and so on for, for this. this Ariane goes to school. Yes. So most likely would have been, is a boy or a girl? A boy. He would have been going to school today. Yes. So she would have come down to prepare early. Because what area is this in Mahaika? This is Unity Mahaika. Okay. So, and, and normal, it is normal for country people to, to wake up early at uh, 4 o'clock in the morning, make preparation. So she might have come down, run into someone. Um, they committed this gruesome act. And I don't think she would have come down alone. It, it seems that the child would have been locked in the house after because the, up, the upstairs, you had to bring the lock to the upstairs too. The child was locked in. So the child was also locked in. This is, is not only um, a gruesome act, but premeditated. Someone thought about what they were doing and how they were going to do it. What would have caused that from the tumbling up alone in, in the house? Um, you realize that this person was intent on getting something or stealing something. So, um, her bank and, and what's her right name? Germany Tulsi. Germany Tulsi. So if you find the bank card and can somebody describe the bank? Can somebody describe the bank card? Uh, the, the bag? What kind of bag? A black bag. A black handbag. A black handbag. She, um, she, she driver's license, bank card for them. So this is, this is her vehicle? Yes. So she drives the car and they, they took her bag with all her personal items. Um, I'm hoping, depending. Yeah, let, me, let, me, let me look around at the back and see. Here. Let's try on a path down and see if we can find anything, anything back. So this is a very fairly desolate area. If you look right away around the neighbors are not so close. It's not like how weed is being judged down. So nobody might not have heard anything um, from her. But where would be This place is freshly. Yeah, I hear the police was um, canvassing this area down here. They went down and here this morning. And then I walked around and checked. So you, would, you would get footprints here? Yeah. So the police would be with you in it? Yeah. So they got footprints here. Well, you can't say it's no footprints. Okay, yeah, yeah. So there's, a, there's a track here. But this looks like it is used by people who just come grazing animals and things in these areas. Because you can't get a track from just walking no, one time, no. right? You can't get a track. So the persons could have gone. Obviously, you got canvas this whole area. They could have gone in or come in here unnoticed, right? Because look at look at look at this. This is this is like like jungle. The people could have come in from the back unnoticed. So again, you can't blame. One of the questions you're gonna ask is if anybody see anything or anybody hear anything. But you can't blame neighbors. Look at this place, how it's set up, unfortunately. Not to say that um, she needed to do more. Mother and her child needs to be protected. This is a, this, 
um, is a society that everybody needs to be protected and we need to get rid of the animals in the society that are going to destroy the lives of the good people in our society. No mother deserve for her life to end like this. And if you look, you see she already had uh, stuff prepared for her kid go to school. She had her whole life. This kid had his whole life ahead of him. A loving, caring mother. Everybody got a difference. Everybody got issues. And much as I say this about the victim, people would have other things to say. Um, I'm told that the father of the child is not in the country. I don't know what's the relationship with the father of the child and the mother. But this, again, is one of the access doors but they said this door is normally closed from the outside yeah. all right thank you eh? yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's okay. so it would be nice if somebody would have seen something and if you have seen anything if you seen anybody suspicious in the community if you see anybody so you you've seen anybody suspicious in the back lands in this area um, between yesterday and today or even a few days before because a lot of times um, criminals are looking and assessing their victims and when to come. So if you see, please make a report to the police station and let's try to solve this crime. If you got a family member that came home with blood on his skin and damaged his arm, obviously she would have fought um, for her life. Obviously she might have known her victim because why else if you come in to rob somebody, why else murder that person if you didn't know? I was told the young child has said that he has seen something or he's seen everything or knows something. So I'm hoping that will help in not making this case and not a dead end case that is not solved. This um, family, the sisters here, justice is needed here. The Guyanese critic coming to you from Unity Mahaika. Um, Oh, this place. Yeah, I'm going to check if you have any camera footage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, and I know the police was fired up. The police was fired up. And I can't feel it. Yeah. Yeah. It's highly unlikely somebody. But they strip it like that. They, they would. You understand? Somebody is to commit a senseless crime like this. Mm. Don't put much thought into it. A lot of junkies, they're watching the chick. She's a car and she's alone yeah. living in the house. You understand? So, um... Yeah, Louis asked, so guys, um, this is an update from the guy initiative for Daybreak News where I'm coming to you from Unity, uh, Mahaika, where a 38 year old mother was found murdered in the downstairs of her home. Um, this is just behind me here, and her five year old son was found locked up in the downstairs. She was found with a knife in her neck. Very, very unfortunate. I'm on the scene here. The police have started their investigation and I'm trying to get to the bottom of this matter. Again, it's critic for Daybreak News.